challenge to nearly 100 charities across the province. The OCMs are now McGraw. Okay, this is the Fertile Road. This is the Fertile here. Just want to take a videotape of our condition here. Last time that this road was paved was 28 years ago. And uh, this is the better section. So it's going to be a bit of a live video. But uh, this is where the road was washed out two years ago, so this bit is paved. And that's it. I don't know if you see this because I can barely see the road. So the road gets uh, potholes fixed every now and then. Uh, two years ago when they did it, they were taking dirt off the side of the road with flowers and everything in it, putting it in. I should have had the pictures off it, but unfortunately, I didn't do it. Uh, some of the potholes are as uh, the size of the whole road itself. Actually, places. Department of Highways will come down as far as Coastal School Branch sometimes uh, to clear sand off the road. As you can see, it has been done here. Uh, they'll come down and paint the actual strips on the road. And there's that much sand on it that you can't even see that it's from the time the boy was two years old, he could dirty his see the markings. To make his mother believe someone else had done it. So obviously the people in the department are not doing their jobs. The people responsible for the roads are not doing their jobs. So it's up to us. Look at the altars on the side of the road. The moose pops out anywhere, that's it. You got no time to react. Weekday mornings from 9 to 11.30, I connect you with Randy. Sometimes we're serious. I'm stepping back to the cave, and sometimes we have a laugh. Dear God. <laughs> but the one core thing that remains the backbone of our program is you. All patchwork. Weekday mornings from 9 Hot to 11.30 for VOCM CFCB Open Line with Randy Sims. He's got people talking. People got tires gone out of rim crack. Struts, brakes. Broadcasters have the ability to influence opinions and shape attitudes. That's why the CBSC has set high standards for the industry to follow. The CBSC has uh, several accidents on the highway, people going off the roads. In order to maintain these standards across the country, if you feel a program does not meet the standards set by the CBSC, your first step should be to call the station and voice your comments. If you'd like to pursue the matter further, the address of the CBSC. There's guardrails needed. Show a couple sections of that. Just before the OCM satellite weather, this road's update for Provincial Airlines. To book your flight, visit provincialairlines.ca. Good driving for the most part, main highways on the island are mostly bare and dry, but there are scattered slick uh, in Labrador. I we a lot gone out of my car, as you can tell, shakes and steering wheel. Uh, this is uh, what we call a gun stock area. Uh, we had a truck go off the road because of this uh, little rut bump up here. Just watch how we tip to the side. Uh, truck tipped right over and over that hill. Transport truck loaded with uh, mackerel or herring or something. Uh, Fertility is a port that has a lot of uh, product export. We had two crab places at one time, now we don't have anything. Uh, government uh, companies just take everything from us and don't give anything back. So we had enough and uh, we're going to start up this petition. Look at the road, it's terrible. We're going to get some uh, video of uh, truck drivers, hopefully, talking about how this is the worst road in Newfoundland that they've ever been on. Uh, we have tourists come here. Uh, they're shocked by the road condition. And when they leave, they tell other people, travelers, that, you know, don't go down this road. It's too bad on the vehicles. So our, uh, our uh, tourism has dropped significantly. We used to have almost 8,000 people come through 
uh, the museum down below, uh, Dorset Eskimo Interpretation Center, and we'd be lucky to probably get a couple hundred now. Um, yet the tourism minister was on the radio this morning talking about how well tourism is doing in Newfoundland, but yet uh, it must be all in St. John's like everything else. Uh, government has responsibility, first of all, for our safety on the roads. Uh, this here was a strip of pavement that was done uh, two years ago. It's approximately a kilometer. Um, so you still see the altars when they were cut back from the side of the road. Um, I went up several times to the Department of uh, Transportation to get them to put up signs because of the bumps in the road. Uh, one time there's trees on the road. I, it was there for about a week. I went up and asked them when was the last time you were down. They said, oh, this morning. I said, well, the next time you go down, take a chainsaw, cut the trees off the road. So uh, it tells you how they're doing their job. Obviously not. They can play cards all day, I guess. Get paid. Meanwhile, the rest of us got to work for our livelihoods. The most important thing that we got, or that we should have, is our roads. Every single person uses it. You know, not every single person uses the hospital. Not every single person goes to school. Not every single person goes to the arts and culture centers that they have across the island. Priority has to be set with roads. Priority is what gets us to work. Priority is what gets us to school. Priority is what gets the ambulance from Bay Vert down to Fernley and back. Hopefully next time it won't take two hours and cost them their life. Um, we got to start speaking up, people. And uh, hopefully this will be the movement because uh, I don't see anyone else stepping up to the plate to do it. Uh, right here we had a gentleman go off the road. Uh, almost went out in the water. See, no guardrails. Uh, Jim went right off right here. Just a little bit of frost in the road, went down through the trees. I mean, he could have went out to the lake. No roads or no guardrails. sections up here. Certainly it's all bad. I mean you got a little bit of asphalt in the holes now that'll last another little while. I mean I guess the snow will cover up the rest for the winter and come spring it'll be worse again. I've never seen that game on CBC. I guess they didn't pay enough royalties. section called uh, Airplane Pond here. There were patchworks. Rough potholes. The tar goes down that bang. Crack. Another fella had his, um, his wheel. Uh, geez, I don't know what he calls it. But his wheel fell off anyway. I'll show you that area. 
Go down the incline, could have went off the road, went into the lake. Alters all over the place. This here is a popular spot for moose crossings. I mean, you can see you're coming down this hill, very little time. If a moose was to jump out here anywhere. Uh, I don't know when the last time it was actually cut. You can see the alters and the trees. I mean, it's supposed to be, um, I think about 20 feet or so from the center of the road, maybe. 20, 30 feet on each side of the road, and we don't have anything. Alders are grown on the road. The place is up. Right there. So, uh, you say that the squeaky wheel gets the grease, so well, I guess we're going to have to squeak that wheel. Because uh, 28 long years since anything's been done here. This was a spot up here where I went and asked them to put the signs because of the bump. Uh, you can see they did one side of the road but not the other. You know, what a waste of time. You get people to come out to do the work and they don't do half of the job. So we're going to give you a taste of this bump here now. Huh. Now, no signs, no nothing. I told them about it, they put the signs there, then they take them down. It's useless because they had to move the signs somewhere else instead of buying new signs. It's ridiculous. The amount of money that we pay as taxpayers, gas tax, where does it go? It's supposed to go to our roads. Look at it. Look at the state of this. Washed away, pavement gone, potholes, patches, cracks, altars. It's a disgrace to Newfoundland to have a government that doesn't do anything about this. So, they will now, and this is not the first step, or it is the first step. <laughs> uh, advocate minds, look how close we are to the side of the road. No guardrails, no nothing. Our children pass this way all the time. They've been drilling here to see if the side is caving in or not. Um, and, uh, you know, we don't know what's happening. Nobody says anything. Asbestos blowing off the tailings. This here is the section of the road where the gentleman lost his tire. You might be able to see the mark here. Uh, right here, he hit, hit these bumps, ruts, bang, and he could have went off into the pond here. There's a lot of heavy-duty trucks that travel this road, fish trucks, dump trucks. Look at this patchwork. And half the, the jobs that the companies that are out there doing for paving is ridiculous. They just put down new pavement at Grand Falls and there's more hollows and bumps and, and joins. And it's the worst pavement i ever seen of any company anywhere in, in Canada, U.S., Australia, Norway, Japan, China. It's ridiculous, I tell you. And the money we pay is to get this stuff done. Now, we're soon be coming to the end. And the end is where Bayvert starts to begin, the Bayvert dump. And, uh... So that's as far as we go, you know. Us out in Coachman's Cove and Ferdley are forgotten about. People that travel this road are forgotten about. Not for long. There you go. We'll give you another half when I go back. <laughs>